Hi guys, I'm Nigel Goslin. I started off in like 2006 as a personal trainer and um, grew to absolutely hate the fitness industry because I realized that it wasn't about health, it was about insecurity, it was about ego, and it, it drove me nuts. It didn't just mentally disturb me, it actually drove me into fatigue and depression and all sorts of other thing, things connected to that. So my mission over the last four years has been to help heart-centered people um, you know, gain more energy so that they can actually bring more impact into the world. Thanks. You know what gets me? Sounds like that. <laughs> what was that? Someone trying to stress me out? Now, I'll tell you what gets me. We're all in such a bloody rush. And I'm not talking about just in the city. I'm talking about in our own mentalities to change our lives, change our bodies. And I've got this saying, hyper motivation. And I believe that like social media is responsible a lot for us needing to be so motivated to change that it actually takes away from our own power to do so. So my journey started where, way back when I was like 15, before we had mobile phones, so I'm showing my maturity. Um, and it started off with you know guys in films, physiques and all the rest of it, and I'd hear women talk about what they'd like, and then I'd go and start trying to act up to all that. So what it did for me was led me down a path of in a sense, anything but what I could be. Just my, in, my own innate just being myself. So it set me up probably on a journey of about 30 years. Something like that. My maths is a bit out there. But like literally training from the age of 15, um, I would give up all my spare time. I then went through quite a long few years of actually trying to be social. I found it really hard in social situations. And what I did is I, I went very much into myself and I gave every ounce to changing my body. And what it did was it set me up for health problems that I'm still trying to get over now. And it went into sleep, it went into depression, it went into me shutting myself off. So, if you've read my little bit of text I put down about the health industry actually being unhealthy, I believe it is in a large part because it's really encouraging us to be obsessive about the way we look and not about the way we feel. And that's why if you've seen my domain name, it's feeling amazing. Because I believe not only do I deserve that, but I think we all deserve that. And the more you keep collecting all this shit on social media and keep bookmarking everything, and because I've done it, I've done it. Uh, just had a bit of a clear about actually. What a relief that is. But the more that you keep collecting this stuff, the more that you're actually programming your subconscious to loathe yourself. And I did loathe myself. I used to uh, eat 20 eggs a day. Um, I used to consume like 6,000 calories. I would train, train to exhaustion where I was puking and being sick at the same time. I didn't know whether I wanted to share that bit, but I'm sort of feeling a bit of trust here, so I'm going to go with it. Um, but what happened with the false feeding and all of that, I actually damaged my stomach. And now, some of you will be hearing a lot about the gut at the moment. And as we know, it affects your sleep because 75% of your melatonin is made in your gut. So what I'm seeing, this whole rushing around, trying to get results, it leads into things like our eating, our sleeping, our exercising. And before long, we don't know who the hell we are because we're rushing around and we create long-term issues. And that's what I did. I damaged the lining of my stomach and um, I got heavy metals, heavy metal poisoning, all sorts of issues like that, so it affected me. Uh, I'm struggling with my words tonight. 
what's the what's the mental word neuro yeah that's it quite that wasn't a joke by the way um so like i struggled with many many different ways and as i said it's it's it becomes then something that you have to put right and it could take you 10 15 20 years now i am mature enough to have seen so many people go through these things and having been a personal trainer and feeling sick being around other personal trainers because i could i could feel their desperateness to be liked i could feel their desperateness to get away from internal stuff that we all feel but not all of us take it to that extreme and that change so my overall message today that's taken me all this time to learn is that you are innately able to be well you have everything you need but all these influences encourage us all some really deep rooted issues where we think we're not worth enough and it's a difficult place to be because it does affect this you know your mindset day to day um you know it's, it's it's very hard to just get through life when you feel really crap about yourself and yet you're really enthusiastic because you found someone else to follow and they're doing loads of hit but you don't need high intensity exercise what you need is high intensity recuperation and i often talk about what i would call vitality reserve now to demonstrate this what I'm going to do is we're all going to stand up. So if you please join me. So at the moment, hopefully you can feel the ground under your feet. You feel nice and balanced and you feel nice and sturdy. What I want you to do now is put your arms across your chest. And then I want you to stand on one foot. Now at the moment, obviously you're quite unsteady, aren't you? Now, this symbolises, if we go back to status quo again, this th symbolises us waking up after a good night's sleep, crossing our arms, we've eaten some food that's given us a reaction the night before. Now you close your eyes, and how possible have you got a strong enough base to deal with the stress of the day the next day? So what we end up doing, let's all sit down now. <laughs> um, what we end up doing is, eking into this reserve that we have now the difficulty is symptoms are common and they will change but the underlying exhaustion and the taxing of your system will turn up in many different ways today it might be a headache five years time you might not be, be able to digest certain foods and you've got holes in your stomach particles of food go through into your bloodstream and you've got all sorts of arthritis skin conditions memory issues and that's what mem like, um, again not a joke that's what this uh, and I do I have suffered as I say uh, mentally from some of the stuff that I did to my stomach so when I said that we're all in such a bloody rush it doesn't stop uh, with food we go from hungry rushing around stressed to sitting down jamming food in our mouth hardly chewing it and then expecting our gut to do all of this work about five or six years ago one of my female clients came into the gym she was really upset she walked past me she went up to the mirror and she held herself here about to cry and she said i'm really sick of this fat body and for me what I felt was, it's such a shame that we've got to feel about that about ourselves. Because your body right now might be doing the best job it possibly can. And if you are going around and round in your head about all these perfect physiques and all these perfect people, you are doing yourself an injustice. And you're making things 10 times worse. You're releasing stress hormones. And stress hormones, what do they do? They make us lose muscle and they make us gain fat. So you'll stress yourself into a worse condition. You will screw up your gut and you'll affect yourself mentally. 
is that a good enough picture so far? <laughs> Maybe to encourage you to go inwards a bit more and to trust your own ability to heal and be balanced. <coughs> so I would like you to think about what you're trying to change primarily with your health and your body. And you may get drawn into fast results because who doesn't want to do anything quick? I'm very impatient and I've learned the hard way from doing that. So when people say balance, it kind of gets me a bit because what is balance? Balance changes just like your symptoms change. As I said today, it could be a headache. Tomorrow, it could be a bad back. And we was having an interesting conversation earlier about what it means to be sat down at a desk and then to get into exercise. And again, the pattern is the same. People go from sedentary, just sitting there doing nothing, to a high impact hit class. And then they wonder why they've got all sorts of issues, you know, tension, joints hurting, because they haven't reset their body. So my other part of the message is, take time to transition from things. Don't be in so much of a bloody rush. And be easy on yourself. Now, anyone got the time? Because four minutes. So are we leaving questions to after? after? So as I said, it's about time. It's about being easy on yourself. I don't know if I've said that enough so far. <laughs> but listen to your feelings because when I was around people that weren't being authentic it made me feel depressed and as they say what's the saying you are the five people you surround yourself in well I was surrounded by way more desperately wanting to be liked people and it's quite hard to in some ways carve out your own thoughts, feelings, and most of all, your energy. And maybe that's a good time for me to talk about energy, because energy is many different things. Energy is your own reserve, what you have, because I talk about improving people's energy and vitality, and I think of energy like being the fuel, and your vitality like being your engine. And you often hear people say, oh, you sound like you're you're getting what's going around and all this stuff. Well, first of all, it's good to get a cold because at least you know your immune system's working. It's fighting off. And I, I think that sometimes our view on health really becomes about treating symptoms and taking medicines and not appreciating back to that female client what her body's trying to do. You may need to get bad knees. You may need to get a dodgy stomach because you aren't treating those parts of yourself correct. It's about energy, it's about how you feel, it's about how you feel yourself and it's for me it's input and output. It's just as simple as that. If you're going to rest, you're going to eat the right foods, then you're inputting into your vitality. But all of this doing and trying to action our way out of something sometimes is the very thing that gets us into these problems. So, as we've been talking about up here, things like meditation, self-reflection, and writing in your journal are so important because sometimes we just need to dump that stuff and just clear, calm, and start again. But we're all, we are all gonna get caught up in the rush of things because health isn't really sexy unless you've got a six pack and you're running around, is it? I said to a couple looking at a personal training board one day, I said, um, who would you pick there? And they said, he looks really fit. And I was like, does he relate to you? Like, does he have kids? Does he have a full-time job? And they're like, I don't know. And I was like, you better find that out because he might drill you into the ground just like he does himself. And then what's gonna happen? Six months time, you're gonna have adrenal fatigue. You're gonna have all sorts of issues and you are gonna well and truly be back a few lower steps than you were last time. So if you are gonna seek someone to help you, 
do your research, find out about them, where they sit in terms of you being an individual and not doing what everyone else is. So I've kind of gone around the houses and chatted, or at least I feel I have, hopefully it's some correlation to you guys, but that's my core message. I must be four minutes over now. <laughs> Uh, time, concept for me, I'll just go on all night. How, how long we got? What time's this place closed? <laughs> so, that last message, think about what's right for you. Think about the gut, slow your eating down, slow your thinking down. Maybe don't follow so many people. Carve out your own bit of direction. Thanks. <laughs>